Hey, it's Build It Till Madame building a new house in The Sims 3. I haven't really done any of these kind of house building uh, commentary videos, so hopefully you enjoy them. And uh, tell me in the comments below what you want me to do from the next video if you like this kind of style of video. Because uh, I'd like to know, and uh, thanks. So, uh, Also, thank you for 400 subscribers on my channel. It really means a lot. It's so exciting. I gained the last 100 in like 3 months, so that's really amazing. So thank you for that. And uh, with that, I'll get started with the video. So this house is called Tropical Tides. It takes place in the store world called Sunlit Tides, which is a very tropical style world. I really like the scenery and how everything just looks, and this house just, just makes this whole world look really nice. Um, also, if you like the background music in this video, check out Bloodspit's music. He actually made it for me, and uh, he's a friend of mine, so make sure you go subscribe and uh, check out his stuff. He makes beats on his channel. So the links are in the description below and also in the video, like on the video itself, so check him out. So right now I'm adding in windows. I just added windows in that front part, and I added the wall coverings. I'm doing that all around this house first, and then I'll be adding the landscaping in a little bit later. So, um, basically, a little more about this house. It has three bedrooms and three bathrooms. It has, uh, two studies. Um, it has a really big front lobby area, or, or foyer area, and kind of an open plan design. One of the main things that I base this house on is this kind of center room idea where you have this exterior room that's kind of inside the house but it doesn't have a it doesn't have a ceiling or anything so it's all open so it lets the weather in if you have seasons for example and it pretty much just isn't enclosed it's all like it's all open so it's a really cool outdoor area but it's kind of inside the house at the same time and it also adds a lot of light into the house as well so right now I'm adding in some uh, landscaping into the back you see a hot tub there and some seating and now I'm adding uh, pool lights in in a few seconds here and adding in the pool items of course a diving board is always necessary you got that with seasons finally after waiting for forever uh, I'm adding in this uh, this is actually the area for the outdoor dining right into those doors is actually where the kitchen is in the dining room so really good views of the the ocean and the beach behind the house now adding in the train paint and some rocks around that tree over there. Soon I'll be starting to build this, uh, right now I'm actually building this really nice flower bed. It basically, uh, I basically made it a really rounded flower bed to basically round out this whole house. It's pretty square so I wanted to make it look a little nicer with this flower bed. So uh, I really like how it kind of looks in the stop motion format. It took me a long time to actually build this in the real game, in real time. So now we're moving over to the front of this house, and we're adding a bunch of landscaping, as you can see by the terrain paint. And over by that wall over there is actually going to be a carport. So there's a one-car carport and the one-car garage that you see there. So two cars in this house. You could probably add another car in the front of the, the garage, but I didn't add one there. So you can do that yourself if you want to. Um, and yeah, I'm adding some plants in the back of that wall over there. And you'll see the carport being built in just a few seconds. The carport actually took me a long time to build. I was trying to figure out kind of how to, to make it work in this small space I had to work with. So yeah, I think it turned out pretty good though. Now we're inside the house, and it's actually pretty hard for me to keep up with all the rooms being built, but I'll try my best. Uh, right over there in that big section we're in right now is actually the front lobby foyer area, and then to the left of that is actually the living room. So you can see a lot of different space to kind of uh, have your sims live in. It's a really nice area. Um, so yeah, now I'm in the uh, center room that I talked about. It's basically the exterior room. That's also the interior room. Um, basically, it's just full of plants. I have a few. Uh, I have two couches in there and a table. Just a nice area to, to relax and hang out. Here's the kitchen. I really like the kitchen a lot. Um, I tried to put it in the most centralized location possible, so it has a really nice view of the ocean, and there's also a really nice. A uh, set of windows and doors leading out to the back dining area. Here's the dining room, just a small dining room, looking out into the ocean. So now I'm adding in some items in this hallway area that connects the dining room and the foyer together. And now we're in the first bathroom, with the uh, the laundry room is connected to this. And now we're in the study with 
uh, some seating, a treadmill, a computer desk, and some bookcases as well. And here's the one car garage. I'm adding in the car, of course, and then some fast lane objects. On the second floor now, I'm actually adding in the walls and the doors to the rooms. And one fun thing about this house is that the bedrooms aren't connected to this center room. It's all hallway there. So your sims can't actually see through those walls and peek into the other sims' bedrooms. So they can't see them naked. So that's actually a pretty good thing because that would be pretty awkward if you saw your family naked. Uh, so yeah, adding in that stuff in the hallway. Now we're in the first bedroom with, uh, of course, a bed. And surprisingly, this isn't actually the master bedroom, even though it is a pretty big bedroom. Uh, second bedroom here, I'm adding in... Standard objects, plus also an architect's desk as well. Also, don't forget you can download this house on my website, builditfilmatm.yolasite.com slash lot 29. Also, the blueprints are available for the first time ever, so that's cool. Um, and yeah, so also follow me on Facebook, facebook.com slash bfprod, twitter.com slash bfprods, uh, and also twitter.com slash michaelperret as well. Uh, so thanks for watching this video. It's almost done. I, mean, I don't want to get timed out here because it's going to go quickly. I know it. But also, don't forget to stay tuned because there is a fly through video right after this. So, thanks for watching this video and please comment, rate, and subscribe. Mm -hmm.